So let's stay with COVID issues, uh, but move around to the actual health concerns. And many people are complaining that they're not able to register to receive their COVID-19 vaccine. Reports of glitches in the electronic vaccination data system have been the main cause. Heidi Jokos is following this one, and she joins us now. Hello, Heidi. So healthcare workers apparently are not able to register on the EVDS. I mean, there are at least half a million of them, surely, who still need their jabs. Why can't they register? Well, we're actually not sure of the exact figure of how many healthcare workers have already registered and those that still need to register. But the Department of Health took a decision to uh, um, cancel or rather not allow healthcare workers to register on the electronic vaccination data system. Previously, healthcare workers were able to register as well as those who are 60 and above to get the vaccine. But we do understand that because the definition was broadened uh, in terms of healthcare workers and those that are support staff, admin staff within a health facility that could register to get the COVID-19 vaccine, people were taking the opportunity to cheat the system and say, that there are admin staff or any kind of support staff in a health facility, and this is why they were able to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Of course, there have been many reports with people even posting on social media to say they were able to pull some strings and get the COVID-19 vaccine, even though they are nowhere near working at a healthcare facility. Um, but we do know that once you register and you have proof of registration, certain vaccination sites actually accept just the successful registration SMS and they don't necessarily question how you registered but rather trust that the electronic vaccination data system almost screened you before the time and that you are a healthcare worker. So for the Department of Health to avoid any glitches or people um, not uh, uh, people that aren't healthcare workers uh, registering uh, and jumping the queue, they decided to suspend that portal for healthcare workers and uh, let's just listen to what the department said with regards to why they decided to do this and some of the problems that were picked up. Where the, and I think the public is now aware that we closed the portal on health care worker registrations and we did that because it became apparent that uh, there were a lot of people in the general public who were declaring themselves as health care workers by registering on that portal uh, even though they are not um, they are not health care workers. It became too uh, open and too easy for people to register. For healthcare professionals who have not yet registered, uh, first of all, we're a bit disappointed you haven't already registered because uh, health prof professionals should be leading the charge. But for them, there is a portal that we will be opening shortly and we will be announcing in the media where they will be able to go and register and their Registration with a council will be verified before they are loaded onto the EVDS system. And that will at least means that we um, are able to continue with registration of professionals. For other healthcare workers, there isn't a separate solution at the moment. And we would just encourage those over 60 to register on the general public portal so that they can be called for vaccination uh, in the queue. All right. So, I mean, you know, first of all, Heidi, it's really distressing to hear uh, that people have been so dishonest, that they've seen that the security hasn't been as strong as it should be in terms of checking credentials, and they've taken advantage of that. And it's just, it's absolutely unacceptable when you think that healthcare workers put themselves at risk every single day. But of course, the point being made there is that they should have registered a long time ago anyway. So just explain this plan to me. The, there'll be a separate portal for healthcare workers, which we open soon. Uh, what does that mean uh, for the over 60s who still haven't registered? Just, just talk me through uh, what's going to happen. Yes, just on your point of how unacceptable it is, we've actually spoken to vaccination site managers who've said it's actually the responsibility of every individual to be ethical and uh, truthful with regards to getting the vaccine. We all want the vaccine and we all want to be protected from COVID-19, uh, but you know, people need to actually wait their turn because a government has a clear instruction of the various phases, those that are at most risk, the healthcare workers, and then they move over to the age group 60 plus. But uh, with regards to what's expected next, we know that the Department of Health is expected to launch a new portal specifically for healthcare workers. They will actually need to put in their uh, employee uh, number uh, just to verify that they do in fact work at a health facility. But what's interesting here is that a lot of the support staff actually don't have access to uh, perhaps 
the electronic vaccination data system. They weren't aware of how they need to register and if it's in fact on the EVDS. So this is possibly why there has been some kind of delay in them actually registering. Many of them didn't even know they fall into the category of healthcare workers. So let's just listen to the department once more on the plan going forward for healthcare workers that haven't registered. For healthcare professionals to continue to register, and we're hoping there are not a lot who haven't registered yet, we are hoping to have live during the course of today, but certainly we want it up by tomorrow. Um, bear in mind that a lot of healthcare professionals are already registered and are queued for vaccination in the system, um, and we're not sure how many people are still um, unregistered, but that portal should be open by tomorrow. All right, so that's dealing with the security issue and the fact that people are trying to cheat the system. But there are other issues around the electronic data system. Uh, tell us uh, what the Department of Health is doing about them and briefly what are the biggest problems. So we'll be looking more in depth uh, at this specific issue tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but we, we, ha we do understand from the Department of Health that the issue is around why SMSs have not been sent out because many people registered on the very first day when the uh, electronic vaccination data, data system went live. Many people are also questioning why um, certain people are getting SMSs before those that are perhaps 80 years old or 90 years old and they believe that they are more at risk or more vulnerable. But according to the Department of Health, the system is not established or structured to pick up those that are most vulnerable or at uh, at an uh, age of 80 or 90 years old. Uh, the system picks up who has registered first, um, and if you were first to register and you're 60 years old, but somebody else registered two days later or even two minutes later and you're 90 years old, the system will pick up the first person that registered. So uh, there has been a lot of concern about that, and um, uh, the, the Department of Health is saying that's the way the system is structured and the system is actually working perfectly fine. There aren't any glitches in the system. But what's also interesting is that the Department of Health is saying that uh, it's actually the responsibility of the vaccination site to not allow walk-ins because that messes up with the voucher system and when those SMSs are sent out because they have to go back, recount how many walk-ins there were and not send out vouchers again so it doesn't confuse those that actually need to get the vaccine. But Sally, what's confusing here is that the Gauteng Provincial Government said that um, in actual fact they accept walk-ins and they cannot turn mm. anybody away. So there's definitely uh, miscommunication between the EVDS and um, those on the ground at the vaccination site. So we'll be looking more into that as of tomorrow. Yeah, that's an interesting one because when I spoke to Anben Pillay, the Deputy DG of Health, yesterday, he didn't say a flat out no to walk-ins and he explained that it was a tricky one to sort out. All these issues hopefully will get sorted out soon uh, and then we're going to really see a ramping up of vaccinations as more COVID-19 vaccination doses arrive in the country. Thank you so much for that update, Heidi Jokos.